Ready? Mm -hmm. yep. All right, guys, we just finished the episode. Um, however, due to trying to change things so that we don't lose footage, uh, we lost footage. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is one of the worst feelings you can have running this kind of channel. That you can't, you just can't do it again, <laughs> you know? Yeah, we just finished the uh, Torchwood episode 12, season 2. Uh, it was the reaction for Fragments. Uh, and then Calvin noticed that the, the little light, light wasn't, wasn't on, on, so it stopped recording. Right the, or intro? The, right after the intro finished. Yeah. So. yeah. So anyway, I want to let you guys know that it was an amazing reaction, and you're going to be really upset you didn't see it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was a really great episode. It was a really great episode. It was episode. really great. Um, I, I feel bad what just happened, but I feel good that I just saw that episode. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the episode itself gave, like, a lot of... Uh, Background. A lot of backstory yeah. and stuff. It was a lot of, like, previously... Not previously on, but, like... Previously, sure. like where, how Captain Jack got to Torchwood. You know? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, when we started this series, that was one of my things. Like, what's going on with Jack? I want to know more. And I yeah, got, I got it here. Honestly, you know? I thought they could have done a whole episode on that. Well, they could honestly, they could do years I, and years worth of that. I, I, I thought. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, the big thing I was like, why the hell are these chicks just fucking? Why are they so balls to the wall for? And what do you mean? I mean, the way they shot that alien. Yeah. I mean. Well, I mean, Torchwood was made for that. Yeah, it was more. Yeah. It was a more like black and white barbaric time. Like yeah. they were protecting the empire. Yeah, if it was a threat to the empire, it was easier for them to just kill them and get rid of them. Well, even than it would be to even in the Christmas them. special when the aliens were leaving Earth, Torchwood still fired yeah. on them and yeah. killed them all. Like whenever he's recruiting yeah. Owen in this episode, he's like to fight aliens, not to like you know to keep them okay and separate them from us. You know. Yeah. Yeah, just but there's been situa them. there's been more situations where they've tried to. Do a positive thing and help something. Yeah, J Jack has changed yeah, it Jack since changed, uh, yeah. since 2000 when he took over. So but they still just fucking they put these weevils in these cages without due process. No, just that one. <laughs> <sighs> but uh, no, yeah. it was interesting seeing that. Uh, it jumped back to like 1300 times he's died yeah. before. 1392. Almost 1400. Deaths 1392 really. deaths. I didn't catch Owen's title card for how far back it was, but I thought it said like five days, but it couldn't have been couldn't five have been days. I was so confused. But everybody had a different. Like scale of measurement, yeah. it was deaths, it was years, it was months, and then I, I don't know what. It was four years. Yeah. Oh, his was his was okay. four years. Okay. You know, it's it's weird. Ianto, I felt like maybe in the first few episodes, they're thinking we need to give this character something better to do, and now he goes on a mission and stuff. Yeah, I, it, I it's really even, enjoy. I guess I, I do now, but I guess for me, it, it feels. Like if, if I rewatch it, it feel more weird watching the first few episodes because I feel like that personality and. Maybe th what they didn't have planned yeah. for him doesn't really work with, oh, he was once Torchwood and he was well, with capturing I mean, aliens and shit and he's hardcore. At this point, his girlfriend, who he says is dead, is alive. Is alive, right? yeah. yeah. He knows exactly. that. At so this yeah. point, he's fighting for that. He, he knows, because he said in the, in the flashback of there that they have the equipment that they got from London. They went through and took stuff from it. So they have the yeah. Cybermen stuff and all that. Mm -hmm. So he's going to try and go in and save her with that. So that's his big plan with that. Yeah. But yeah. he said, like, I can do food, I can be a receptionist, I can be a guard dog, And all then he ends stuff. up being a receptionist, basically. Which he ends up being yeah. in the very beginning of Torchwood, which 21 months ago, you go back a year plus some, sure. that kind of works out okay. Yeah. Like, that's what he was doing. And he yeah. was secretly doing other shit as well. So his kind of fit in worked okay, and he helped him get a pterodactyl. Well, it kind of yeah. makes you feel like, <clears throat> like, I feel like he was there much longer. Like, because he did that shit, and then, then they didn't fire him, which I think was a good decision. But now... It looks like he hasn't even been there that long when that happened. I mean, he's it's, been part of Torchwood longer. Yeah. He's not a part of Cardiff. Yeah, but, like, Jack, I don't think would... Personally, I wouldn't really trust him as much than so, if he knew him for years. So you're saying that he should have fired him? No, I'm saying... That's I, why, I, that's well, I'm I saying I'm glad they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. saying, like, the backstory they wrote into it to make it more interesting, it, it kind of ruins in my mind, like, you know, like they had this, you know, thing for, like, a decade. You know, he was there for, for a long time. I think yeah. it was implied that he was always a junior employee, though, because he's doing, like, the bitch work upstairs. Yeah. You know, so I don't think that follows, right? Like, it implies like, that he's the newest, mm -hmm. other than Gwen. Gwen's the newest, yeah. I mean, Gwen would have had a higher well, level of Well, yeah, but the way he, his personality, like, like, the way his personality has changed, like, when he was with his girlfriend, he was hiding it, he seemed like this inexperienced person. Yeah. And now he's a very proficient alien hunter. I feel like the, he was, he was taking that role... That way he could stay back at base more and take yeah, care of his Yeah, oh, I get more. that now. It makes sense, perfect yeah. sense. But I mean, I, I, for me, I kind of I can see it in between the lines. I think. What's the contradiction that you're saying? Oh, just no. I, I, 
that he was new so he shouldn't have stayed around, but you're glad he stayed around? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying I can kind of see, like, you know, when they wrote the backstory, they, mm-hmm. it, I think it, it doesn't gel with how, we, how he's presented to us at all. Yeah, what's the contradiction? What do you mean? I didn't I say, I didn't say that we're contradict. He did. Okay, I, I did not. No, I said that. He's saying what? it based on what you're saying. You're yeah, saying that since it doesn't gel, you're, basically you're saying that there's something that kind of contradicts where, yeah. like, what the backstory is. To what we have, like, are, are they trying to flick, fix it and blend it in? But it's yeah, I, I, that's what, I think that's what, no. I, I think I, I can see they're trying to fix his character mm-hmm. from how he was in the beginning. Well, I'm just saying, like, it sounded like you said that what we saw here doesn't go with what we saw previously. What's what's the conflict of that? It doesn't work because I don't see any part where it's not gelling. It doesn't gel with how his personality was in the first few episodes. Like, yeah, it does. I don't mean? think so. He fucking, he, like, whenever they have that thing where they're on the ground and, like, you know, they have that moment and he's like, hey, nice suit. And he turns around and his face goes into grief. Like, that's because he's thinking about that for somebody else, but he still has his girlfriend. Like, a lot of stuff, Joe. Well, I know. I, I mean, I guess. I, Are you I was saying he's more outgoing in this past thing than he was in that, Well, that, that's definitely part like of it. Something like that. That's definitely part of it, yeah. I feel like it's, like, he's characters change the most. You know what I mean? From how we've seen him definitely in the pilot, first few episodes. Like, they gave him more things to do with the team. Yeah, I think a lot of it's just seeing and him. Now they, we didn't see him enough, so we didn't really know how he was. He easily could have been like this. Yeah. And then like he is now. We just It was the matter of time on screen. We didn't have it with him, you know? I mean, yeah. you know, in this episode, he was still very, you know, driven <laughs> and serious. And I'm going to be here every day. I got to do something like that, you know? Just like he was to save his girl, you know? There was a couple moments of levity whenever he can not think about that and try to prove to Jack and then there's this kind of sparks there but then at the end that all comes crumbling down when he walks away you know, with that contorted face you know I, I don't think there's nothing in there that doesn't gel personally I think the biggest change in characters is uh, Owen yeah like yeah. Owen went with like this uh, possibly married life that he was going for yeah I feel, I feel like they fixed his character by get, making him a sympath. I guess like, if, like if I was, when I was watching him I'm like alright well they're making him a more likable person it makes sense character. why he was become more womanizing and I mean obviously you, know, you could say you know. that everyone all these things are written you know what I mean sure but in my head I guess you know like they don't necessarily have this plan when they were exactly. writing exactly that's what I was there. thinking like, so I you're feel, talking I feel, about retroactive continuity yeah Sure. Well, I, said, I mean, I, I thought I said ret- retcon earlier, but it feels like it feels like a little retcon with both those characters. Mm-hmm. I just don't see any. Yeah. I don't. I don't feel like they've they've retconned anything. I think it's just like an explanation for how those characters became that way. I don't think they've they've. So you think they had it planned out in the beginning, like everything? I mean, I think, I that think you they had an idea just, of, of how those characters started. Just adding a backstory to character doesn't necessarily retcon. No, a retcon no. is when something is changed to fit continuity that comes later. Yeah. yeah. I don't think there's anything like retconning it just yeah. because we're learning. Like, now we've this learned. This just context. Now we're learning how yeah. Jack became in charge of this Torchwood. Uh, no, it just makes perfect sense. We, we, yeah. I think they all make perfect sense. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I wouldn't say that, oh, they retconned it. Because now we know the history of how we got it. Like, well, it's, fixing it's just, implies that there's a mistake. Yeah. yeah. Right. I don't think there's any fixing with that. I think it's just a matter of them, like, you know, here's how each one joined. And sure. here's, you know, here's their story. And each one, I feel like, fit pretty well. Mm-hmm. And then it also gave, like, it gave more context as to why um, why Owen was more like, well, I'm just going to hang out with a woman and then be done. And then, you yeah. know, the different, because like, he didn't want to get that attachment again that he had after losing his fiance. Yeah. And then uh, you have also Yant- means why he, you know he he closes himself off. He's less empathetic. Yeah. He's less. You know, he's more selfish. That kind of thing. Yeah. It also could explain why he doesn't want to get involved with. Uh, uh, Gwen. Tosh. 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 Yeah. Because you know it's another work relationship. Sure. Possibly. But just because now we have that story of like all oh, this gives more information on his character. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's a retcon. Yanto, I feel like also, like. It, it makes sense he wants to get into this other Torchwood because they have the stuff for his girl. It would make sense that he's going to try to push himself into there and be like, I'm a valuable person. Mm-hmm. And he tries to help there as much as he can while secretly doing what he yeah. thinks is good. But I don't think it changes or fixes anything about his character necessarily. It just gives more background as to why he is in this Torchwood. The only one I'm, I'm curious as to why she was there was Susie. Yeah. Because she wasn't in that listing at all. But, like, why do you have her? Mm-hmm. But the I, I feel like Owen definitely has become less of a womanizing asshole as the show's gone on, uh, and um, that has something to do with like maybe. Dead. 
<laughs> well, no, oh, well, maybe. I mean, the first time we see that soft side was that episode, honestly. Mm. But, well, the first time was the uh, the pilot. Yeah. yeah. I would say that pilot also, like, reached him differently than he had been reached probably since his fiance. And it, it also affected him, you know, two episodes later, too. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. So. I mean, you know, there's... They've developed the characters, you know. You have you have a loose idea of like the different, you know, diverse characters that you want to have in the, your your episode one, and then you're gonna have an idea of where they're gonna be in episode one hundred, you know, uh, and you're gonna try to work your way there and add context when you need to. This is an interesting episode, you know, that we we the audience get to to have this, you know, for no reason but a flashback, which is is good, you know. It's not like they were experiencing these things again. It's just we discuss. It's just a context episode, you know. Yeah. And the worst one was Tosh. Yeah. The worst in terms of like, oh, I don't, I don't like that. I mean, like, fuck. But it was really good. It was great, but it was terrible. What yeah, happened this, this is probably a top three episode for me. Yeah. Nothing good ever happens to Tosh. <coughs> well, the only I mean, thing. Oh, and shit wasn't good either. No. But the only no. good thing that happened to Tosh is she got a lifetime of servitude in exchange for prison time, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, she basically got the deal that, um, you know, Abrignali got on a, on a Catch Me If You Can. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're oh, in trouble. Oh, with finding other uh, frauds? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Didn't he get, or didn't White he Hall? say, like, give me five years and I'll see what I can do? Yeah, well, well give me, give, just give me, I don't know. If give me five years I'll and wipe I'll it off have the wipe. wipe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, she's working for freedom, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't, she should have it now. She, I don't think she has any restrictions, though, either. No, she has a house and she can go out and... I, I, I guess I never had people. this underlying feeling that she wasn't allowed to contact her mom yeah. except through letters. It just, it's you know it's interesting to see how Torchwood recruits people, and it seems like Gwen is so unique in her. Man, we just need a person, you know. Jack's story was interesting. I liked. Yeah. I liked how he fell fell along Torchwood, but then the fact that he got it because the old leader looked at some necklace. And, like, saw the future that was coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's like, I, I gave him mercy killings. I can't give that to you, Jack. Take yeah, he, this Torchwood and make it, give it purpose. He saw the darkness that was coming. Is he, what, are they implying something that's going to happen in the future? Yeah. I mean, or he could have been talking happened. about, uh, it's like the title screen. Abaddon. Yeah. You know, yeah. like that, it could have been that. Like, that guy shot a giant monster and killed everybody. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. Now you're the monster. I don't know what he could have been talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But it could have been that. They had rift activity all the way back to... His first, his first bout with him, with the fish head guy, came through the rift. Yeah. So, I, mean, that, I was slightly taken aback that it took Jack a hundred years to get his own division. Because you figure in that hundred years, you know, all those people were probably recruited, let's say, 40 years ago. That's, that's a crazy number. But he would have already been at 60 years before that. Maybe so they why don't... did people get like, promoted over him? Maybe they don't promote internally. Yeah. Maybe they, they so laterally transfer... Eyes. Yeah, Maybe. from other from other Torchwoods. Yeah, that shit pisses me off. By the way, that's bullshit. <laughs> and I'd say I just agree with you. I think Jax might have been the least interesting, uh, even though I actually like I was more engaged with him because I wanted to know more. Sure. But I'm trying to yeah. think everything that happened. Uh, I think uh, Tosh was probably a little more entertaining. Yeah, I, I kept getting distracted by his fake sideburns. <laughs> like they were just like glued on, you know, and they were like curly, <laughs> In different color. Yeah. Besides all the stories they had there, the biggest twist was, I guess, the blowing them up was by Spike. Yeah. And then he has Gray. <coughs> yeah, that's the big thing. Uh, yeah. I mean... Which I'm we sure has some reaction to, to that. You it know. has to go to whatever the next episode is, you know? Yeah. So. Which we're getting close to the end of this one. Mm -hmm. I kind of just forgot about Gray and, and uh, the other the other cat. Yeah, it's kind of been gone since yeah. uh, the Adam episode, right? That kind of came back yeah. then. He is a vindictive ex. Yeah. You know? Scorned lover, man. I mean, a scorned lover, I guess it's his, it was his stealing thing. Yeah, I don't know what... Yeah, you don't need to be doing that, man. That's not a way to get a guy... Get, I, just, get, I get love the detention. hologram that Jack had, and he had a hologram of his own inside that hologram. Hologram and a hologram? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Star Wars... Clone Wars has done that before, I think. Yeah, yeah, for me, I was actually... I was really... I, I was actually waiting for this to come back for a while. Like, yeah. To me, that's some of the most interesting things. <laughs> his origins, his family, his planet. Like, I want to know more about that stuff, more mm -hmm. than some of the other stuff that shows us. So, he also but, mentioned uh, 51st century pheromones. Yeah. yeah. Which must have been where he was born in the future as a time agent. Yeah. 51st so, uh, as, as I mean, he also was around with, during the dinosaurs. Yeah, he mentioned about dinosaurs and the uh, asteroid. How? When the asteroid landed yeah. or something. And they were a source of protein. 
Yeah. Did he go back in time again at some point? He's a time agent. I mean, he, yeah, yeah, he was yeah. a time agent, so he was probably correcting things for the time agency. Okay. Which, he, I guess, wait, Fer- like Fer- what says he just has stronger pheromones. He's got that beautiful face. He doesn't need it. Well, I know, but it's <laughs> obviously maybe it's, these pheromones. How did, how did, maybe it's like some kind of genetic engineering thing where they're like, man, that's what, that's what I'm wondering. Everybody just stinks. Yeah. Just, let's just, ah, now everybody smells like roses. No, but so like, the homeless people. It was, it was kind <laughs> of like, can't afford it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it also came, it kind of made me think. Well, this is why everyone's attracted to them. But I'm like, is that is that against their will? <laughs> you know, because it's because it's pheromones that are unnatural to them. He just thought it was good aftershave. Maybe, maybe he was just scooting around. But you could take that and run with it, I think. But next episode, we should have them trying to figure out how to save Gray and stop this Captain John guy, right? Yeah. yeah. Because fuck this guy. Right? And fuck that brain tumor alien. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that was disturbing. That was, it was disturbing as shit, man. I, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they were talking about this Alzheimer's, earliest case ever, and then they're like, hey, we found a tumor. It wasn't there last time we scanned. We just didn't see it. Let's, yeah. let's operate. They operated, did toxic gases, killed everybody. Yeah. Jack's like, I tried to warn them. Like, what? Like, would it have just incubated and, <clears throat> like, aliened out of her somewhere? Or... I mean, that's a pretty... Traumatizing thing to have no one. Yeah, I mean, like I hate I hate all aliens. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I hate aliens too, I, man. I hate, I hate parasites. Yeah, here, hate, not hate, alien. Alien. I hate leeches. Just parasites. You fucking know. Yeah. Stay on these on your dick. What? Fucking reminds me of worms that, that, are, that can only live in human eyes and no, shit. No, no, these you know? guys have. Huh? Like no, they're, they're, what? They're worms in like no, the no, tropics that's, that's that can only live in like a human's eyes. That's the way they've evolved. You know. So, like little kids, you like close up, close up on their pupils, and you can see little worms. Yeah, in there. shit. It's fucking disgusting. It's gross. Why? Yeah, actually, I saw the news article on that pop my phone. I said, not clicking on that. Yeah. How do you get them out? I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't click on the article on that yeah, one. There's, I there's I certain things. At that time, I gave up the internet. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Uh, like tapeworms. There's certain things that you can put on your skin. It's like, I forget what it is. It's like a mixture of like lemon juice and something else. But like people in like third world countries, if you just wipe the stuff on there, and like dozens of these little tiny worms will just start like mm-hmm. worming their way out of your skin, and they're like they're thinner than hairs, but they just start skewering their way out of your skin and trying to escape. That's terrible. It's, also it's a, disgusting. Uh, there's a there's a, a parasite terrible. that will attach itself to a grasshopper, and its next stage of metamorphosis needs to be in water, so it'll get into the grasshopper. Control the his, grasshopper his to brain. jump, to jump yeah. and control, latch onto its brain and make it jump into the water and drown itself, and then it comes out and it does its next thing. I think it's yeah. the same. It's like the cordyceps like the, saying the, the same the thing ants. that controls ants. Yeah, yeah, yeah that controls like, ants. It's from the, uh, Last of Us that has like the, the clicker things, right? Yeah. Well, the idea is they climb up on top of like some kind of leaf and then just explode so their spores spread further yeah. and stuff. Yeah. There's literally a, a type of of a parasitic spore. It's a plant that does this. Does it? And also some yeah. kind of. Uh, Spiders do it too. Mm-hmm. They have like a mind control. Yeah, design. the idea is the last of us is saying like it's evolved, terrible. so it's starting to control humans, which is yeah. just terrible. Well, okay, yeah, that was uh, it was a great episode. Um, you know, I, I felt like I in the reaction segment that you're not you're not seeing. I felt like I just sat there like, jeez, the whole time. You know, yeah. And there was the part where Owen's about ready to be cut in half. I was like, no, <laughs> stop doing that. Yeah, it did it like four times. I, I just kept thinking of all these. I don't know. I mean, like if I was in a situation... Like what would you do? Yeah, I'm thinking... That's like, if I was her for one thing, I would just go... <laughs> it, was, it was way above him, though. It's like a factory. It's like... You say from the point of view, I mean, it was actually much, much higher? Yeah. yeah it's possible, yeah. Because it was like... A, I was wondering that, but I was looking at it, I really didn't believe it. Like, I was no, like, I think it, that's like a foot away from it. Because the glass pane was like this big, and in the foreground, it only looked like it was this big, but they shot down through it, and when it landed, it, it like... It would have... It would have cut it in half. <laughs> it would have been bad. Yeah. I know. But uh, as far as the, the video itself, like, I thought it gave a lot of information. Mm-hmm. There wasn't a whole lot of shocking parts or anything like that, but it yeah. was just some really, like, really good information of us, like, understanding and knowing our characters. <coughs> yeah. Which, I wonder if they're doing that so that we're more attached and we're going to lose somebody next episode because Captain John, is that his name? Spike. Yeah. John Smith. Whatever. Kill uh, he, somebody. He said, like, yeah, like, maybe few of you, fewer of you now, but I'm going to kill everybody and take kill your world and everything kill everything that you are. Yeah. What's up, like, like, I don't know, would, would they try to kill everyone there and fail and then try to kill everyone again and succeed? I'm just saying, someone? Like, we could, I, thought, I thought maybe Tosh was going to die there when she was under that thing. Yeah, like, she, like, she felt like she was in the most danger. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was disturbing. Than, I, 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 when we didn't even see him. I mean, Owen would still be alive, though. Yeah. We didn't, we, we didn't even see him get Yanto out. 
Yeah, he just got out, right? Well, Tosh. No, him. we, we, saw, see, I mean, we he watched was, him get out. No, he was stuck, but they just kind of had him. No, they picked him up and everything. They were like moving shit off of him when when it cut to him, and I then they were like picking him up. Yonto. Remember when they reattached his arm into his socket? Yeah, but they they were. It wasn't like, it wasn't like Owen, and it wasn't like Tosh, and it wasn't well, really, like, even we, really like Jack. They were when they showed like, this, we didn't really solo, see him get shoulder. Tosh out. Yeah. Yeah, but we saw her stuck. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah, then so we saw them attempt it, and then they stopped to get yeah. more help. When they showed the solo shot of Ianto, they, uh, he, he looked like he was in the least of <coughs> though. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I thought there was a point where someone was helping him, and he said, go help Tosh or something. When they split up at one point? Yeah. That was so, after they had him up and yeah. fixed oh. the shoulder and everything. Yeah. Okay. Dude. Because they used him to help with Tosh. Yeah. No one will ever be able to beat Armstrong's Putting his shoulder back into place. Yeah. From Mel Gibson. Full, from full well, Mel Gibson. What are you talking about? Mel Gibson and fucking uh, uh, lethal, lethal Weapon? weapon? How about... That motherfucker, when he does that, that's the greatest I've ever seen in my life. How about John Wayne and Hitari? I don't know, man. I don't know what that is. Armstrong, like, <laughs> leans into him, lets the movie. homunculus punch him in the shoulder. That sounds like spoilers. It's the best. Huh? Well, fuck it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, next week's reaction should already be on Patreon, so make sure you guys check out Patreon. And then check out our website for all the stuff coming Blind Wave. And subscribe. We'll be yeah. here for all stuff coming Blind Wave. Reaction. Yeah. Sorry. I'm not. I'm not sorry. Sorry. I feel bad, but I'm not sorry. It's Eric's. We're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Please.